welcome to San Diego, California, Super Bowl 37, and you can just feel the electricity in the air. While the Oakland Raiders were playing in their fifth Super Bowl, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were in pro football's ultimate game for the first time in their 27-year history. Still, it was an intriguing matchup. Tampa Bay head coach John Gruden had coached in Oakland the previous four years. His departure 11 months earlier was the start of a feud that now would be decided on the game's biggest stage by the Raiders' top-ranked offense and the Bucks' top-ranked defense. Fellas, I can't wait till the toe hits the leather. Super Bowl 37 was just underway when the Raiders struck the first blow. Zebra Pittman, give me trips right tight. Zebra left, 58 Delta, Zebra choice. Johnson back, looks middle, throws off his back foot. Wobbly ball, intercepted by Woodson on the 48. Johnson threw a fluttered duck into the air, just a lazy ball. Woodson, I think, was the last guy in the stadium to notice where it was, and he intercepted the ball easily. Adam Big. Adam Big. Hoping to add to their former coach's frustration, the Raiders' offense opened with a no-huddle attack. 372 stat smoke. That's Oakland. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. But in a portent of things to come, the speed of the Buccaneer defense brought a swift end to Oakland's first possession. What we got? What we got? Trips right, 93 Roy. Black out there. Three step drop Gannon looking. Rice sacks him at the 23. Gannon did not have a chance. Oakland was forced to settle for a field goal. A bar this. 40 yard field goal by Seabass. Janikowski has it away, and this one is good. Janikowski from 40 yards away is the first one to score in Super Bowl 37. Now listen, this is Zebra Trojan. Far west, right, slot. X short. 200 jet smoke. X choice. Zebra Trojan. Zebra Trojan. Tampa Bay had better luck on its second possession. Round 50. Round 50. Time. Midway through the first quarter, the Bucks often criticized offensive line freed Michael Pittman on a 23-yard run deep into Raider territory. But in the red zone, the Bucks only managed to tie the score on a 31-yard field goal by Martin Gramatica. Nice kick, baby. Nice kick. The Bucks' defense benefited from John Gruden's understanding of the Raiders' offense. A scheme he had designed and installed. 73 flanker arrow wide quick and tell Charlie to run hitch. Money, you know on that last one he checked? Remember how Groots was telling us before they called two plays? For 53. That's what he did. He called, he called at the no huddle. He said 72 something and 370 smoke. 372 stat smoke. That's open. So when he went to the oddball, all he did was that. Gruden's tips exposed Raider tendencies. Let's go. On its first 15 offensive plays, Oakland gained just 21 yards and showed big game frustration. What is he doing? What it called, fellas? Let's get off the field here, Ronnie. They're starting to play a little more nine, all right? Heads up for a buster check. Scatter to weak right slot. 93 weak on one. Too deep through the safety the next time. The Bucks destroyed the Raiders' offensive rhythm. Mugged over the middle. Over in that middle, I'm getting uh, tackled a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We have those X crosses and stuff like that. Dirty, that's the one if it were just a two and two stack, we gotta come inside on the combo. Late in the first quarter, 
Oakland started unraveling from the Bucks' persistent pressure. Jackson's interception led to another Bucks field goal and a 6-3 lead. But worse than being behind, Bill Callahan's Raiders had become predictable. Mike, every play they run, we ran in practice. I know. It's, un it's un unreal. During a pre-Super Bowl practice, Gruden played the role of Rich Gannon to show his defense how the Raiders quarterback used pump fakes to draw opponents out of position. Dexter, don't let him fool you with this pump. We'll get to our landmarks. Dexter, hey! Anticipating where and how the Raiders would attack, John Lynch and the defense had a decisive edge. Back-to-back interceptions of Rich Gannon. He's taken a giant step toward MVP of the Super Bowl. Though they trailed by only three points, Oakland's offense was being dismantled by the inspired Bucks. Dexter! Dexter, I told you, baby! I told you, was it Snug OC? Dexter! Hey, Mike, was it Snug OC? Yeah, yeah. I told him right before. Yeah. Tell him to get me the ball. They're too predictable. They're too predictable. They're too predictable. We know them. Call it, Monty. I call it. I told him right before the snap, it's Snug OC. I don't feel it, man. I don't feel like they're calling no routes for me. Not even throwing me the ball. In the second quarter of Super Bowl 37, the Bucks offense began answering some questions. Can we run the ball at all? Can we run any runs? The answer was a resounding yes. Tampa Bay's power running began breaking down Raider resistance. That's power football by the Buccaneers. I bet you Romo felt that in his old bones. Why not a? Why not a touch? Here's the snap. They'll run Pittman up the right to the 20. Pittman cuts it to the 15 to the 8. Pittman to the 5. He's, oh, he's down at the two-yard line. You big backs. You big backs. Give me west right slot. Boom. 14 blast. West right slot, boom! From the two, second down goal. We lead by three and one more. Hand off Austin. Out of the gap, boom! Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Yeah, baby! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. Mike Austin just lowered his head and his shoulder, and he said, come up here, you old guys, and tackle me, and nobody wanted a piece of it. With a 13-3 lead, the Bucks defenders became predators. Midway through the second quarter, they smelled Raider blood. The passing fancy that was the Raiders' offense all season became a detriment. They don't even run the ball at all. Here's the snap. They will run. He's clobbered in the backfield. A nice blocking. When are they to run the ball? They can't run it down our gut. Nice try. All right, Charlie. Good play. Good play. What's up, bud? Good play. The Raiders were being outplayed by the Bucks and outcoached by their former leader. You can almost see the wheels churning and Coach John Gruden's head down there under the visor, can't you? That little f is trying to grab you because he can't run. Take a little more time at the line. Don't rush it. Get your big hands on him. Blue 45. Blue 45. Tight. Keyshawn Johnson caught four passes in the first half. But late in the second quarter, his biggest reception keyed a 77-yard drive. Nice catch. That's a beautiful catch. And they bunch right tight. Wide left. 200 jet double stick through. Bunch right tight. Wide left. Move 45. Hot. The snap. Brad Johnson dropping with protection. Looking. Going to the right. It is caught. All stop. Out of bounds at the 
six. She alert to take a timeout. South right. Nickel 41. Kill 374. Wasp. Blue 45. Hot. Hot. Here's the snap. Brand dropping. Throwing the high receiver. Call. Leading 20 to 3, the Bucks had punched the Raiders squarely in their unpatched eye. It is cold. It is cold. It is cold. The Pirates' gold lay just ahead. In the third quarter, the Raiders still had no answer for the Bucks' determined offense. Dropping Brad Johnson, looking Brad. Oh, yeah, Brad. They run. Brad Johnson is going to scramble to the 20, to the 20. Get down, please. The John Elway moment. You Jervicious! You Joe Jervicious! Robert Johnson looking to throw, looking long, looking long, throwing long. Come on, Joe Jervicious! And the Bucks are moving the football against the Raider defense. Let's go scatter to triple left. You short. Spider 2C banana hex over. From the 12. And play action on the bootleg. Brad Johnson rolling right, going right. It's caught by Gilger. 5 3 2 1. Score a touchdown. Almost got it in. We got to score seven, baby. Hey, Brad, be smart. Bunch left tight. 73 scat seat jerk. See the throw. Throw it away if it's not there. Uh oh. Warren Sapp's prediction proved correct. 45, huh? As Johnson finished off an 89 yard drive. Brad Johnson looking left, looking right. Throw the middle of punt at the 3 2. in a play calling zone. His offensive line did not allow a sack. And leading 27 to three, his confidence rubbed off on his players. Hey, that's why you and I work together here. I'm with you, we rolling. They're dragging ass, they're dragging ass. Don't give them nothing now, let's go. Instead of letting up, Tampa's defense put the hammer down. Dropping again in a seven step drop now, looking to his left eye. Oh! Thanks to Dwight Smith's stunning interception, the Bucks savagely swashbuckled their way to an overwhelming 34-3 lead. Every way possible, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are winning Super Bowl 37 decidedly. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are taking the Oakland Raiders to the woodshed. Take it back to town. the woodshed. That's what we did. We didn't expect an ass whooping. Not an ass whooping in the Super Bowl. Pretty good, huh, Lynn? Look at him right now. Rich Gannon got that deer in the headlight look. Hey, let's keep pounding him. Keep pounding him. Keep pounding him. Go. Keep pounding him. We ain't even started yet. Let him keep throwing. Let him keep throwing. Trailing by 31 points, Gannon had no choice but to keep throwing. With time running out in the third quarter, number 12 finally found an open receiver. Looking, looking, throw, looking, looking. Now back to his right. Throws the deep brown toward Jerry Porter grabbed it with his fingertips, but he ran out of real estate. Hold on, they may want to challenge this. Did he get two down? Yeah. No, he didn't have possession of the ball possession right there. Ball. At the end, he, he fumbled it. They're going to challenge it anyway. Hey, he doesn't have control of that ball. He don't have control. He ain't got that ball. Jerry, I looked a whole lot closer on the, on the replay than it did in person. I think he might have that. He's bobbling that ball. I'm going to have a eruption if they overturn this. No way. After reviewing the play, 
it's been determined that the receiver possessed and caught the ball with both feet inbounds. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your skull? The players reverse to a touchdown. They're going for two. Simeon, alert the rush call. Don't relax. Alert the rush call. Ready to Looking for the two-point conversion. Dropping his Ooh. hand and goes. Knock his ass off. Good. Simeon Rice got two quarterback Rich Gannon, and I mean squashed him like a bug on the windshield. For the Raiders, the final 15 minutes of Super Bowl 37 would be a battle for respect. 34 to 9, Tampa Bay, and the Bucs are 15 minutes away from a Super Bowl championship. The Buccaneers close to the vest now, clock on their side, good snap. They're by Benjamin, they're coming, and it's to the end. Picked up by the Raiders of the 10 to the 5, touchdown for the Raiders. It's 34 to 15. What happened? Any spark the Raiders might have felt was doused by Michael Pittman's tough running. The snap toss pitch left side. This is Pittman blocked by the daylight. To the 35, to the 30. He's to the 25. Pittman to the 20. Pittman to the 15. To the 12 yard line. Tampa Bay's Michael Pittman has a 100 yard rushing day in his first ever Super Bowl. Tampa Bay bled five minutes off the clock on a 77-yard march that set up another field goal attempt. That was a good drive, Bill. Martin Grammatic. Oh, bottle snap to Grammatic and picks it up and runs to his left heel, go down to the 22-yard line. Grammatic has stopped. Was it a bad snap? Was it a bad snap? That was a good snap, it looked like. Tupa couldn't handle it. So Tampa on special teams disintegrated. And Martin Grimatica looking like Garrow Yapremium from 30 years ago. Yeah, you were hoping that he'd try to throw the ball. Listen to what I'm saying. We're going to be fine. Nothing cheap, but we got to stay alive on the rush. Don't let him step up. They'll know where they'll beat us if we don't give him anything up top. And the rush is very important, okay? Red left slot, F left, 23, flaker arrow, E post. Gannon dropping, gets the pass away. It is caught at the 15. Five touchdown, Oakland Raiders. What are we doing? And Jerry Rice has caught another touchdown in a Super Bowl. Rice scored his record eighth Super Bowl touchdown against a defense that had allowed only five fourth quarter touchdowns all season. 6 6 to go. It's 34 21. And the Buccaneer lead that had been huge is now getting a little bit tighter. Now it starts to get serious. Come on, let's go. Don't let up. Do not let up. Stay after him, Monty. Dominic. Don't ever let go. Don't ever stop putting the pedal on him. Let's go. Keep your mind on the prize. Let's go. Come on, Bucks defense. You've played so well tonight. Let's stop Rich Gannon one more time. Knock his ass off. Pressure coming by Sam. Oh, he's sacked by Defense got us to the Super Bowl, and they're trying to win it for us. Third down, 18. Dropping Gannon, looking Gannon, looking Gannon. Those up the middle. Hands in the zone at the 30. Derrick Brooks, 30. Brooks to the 25. He's going to Derrick Brooks all the way. There it is. The dagger's in. We're going to win the Super Bowl. Super Bowl, baby! It was fitting that on a championship Sunday dominated by defense, that Derek Brooks, the NFL's Defensive Player of the Year, made the play that triggered the celebration.
celebrate. Celebrate. Dance to the music. The Bucks are the best team in the National Football League. Keep going that ball at me, baby. Throw it some more. Go five more times. 13 seconds. Gannon to throw. Here's the pass. It's picked off. Intercepted. Down the side. Get it the league's number one defense versus the number one offense was a mismatch that would not end. Dwight Smith, Dwight Smith, Dwight Smith, Dwight Smith two touchdowns. Dwight Smith picks off a rich Gannon pass. That's five of them. Oh, it's Dwight Smith with the ultimate exclamation point on Tampa's Super Bowl triumph. Five interceptions and three defensive touchdowns were both Super Bowl records. Way to go, Big Six. Hey. Hugs abound on the sideline. And John Gruden is the youngest head coach to win a Super Bowl championship. The Lombardi Trophy resides in Tampa, Florida. How about that, Mr. Glazer? Huh? We did it, man. Best in the world, man. <laughs> I can't thank you, I can't tell you how much I love you. Let him go, let him go. Love you. <laughs> Buccaneers win, Buccaneers win in San Diego. It took 27 years to get here. It took us 60 minutes to bring home the trophy. Congratulations to Dexter Jackson, who has been named the most valuable player of Super Bowl 37. The NFL's oldest team was no match for a young head coach who proved that leadership also wins championships. Love you, man. I love you. Congratulations. I love you, bro. Less than a year after owner Malcolm Glazier hired John Gruden, both stood together atop the football world. At 39, the boy wonder of the NFL was all grown up, and his Buccaneers were world champions. How about that, Deuce? He's around the back. We kicked their butt He's away. Around the back. Wave it, Deuce. Wave your flag. Oh boy.